So it's day 32, and from here on, things are going to get slightly confusing because I'm going to start forgetting what the day numbers are now I don't have the month to mark it for me. But look, don't know about you, but I think we should bring back the pre Norman name. Have a go at pronouncing that. Let's check this out. This bus stop looks like something from the past. Part bus stop, part air raid shelter. Wow, look at these bird houses, aren't these amazing? I'm not even into birds, but that's so awesome. Oh look, effluence. And a rhino. So I've made it as far as the M1. And I've come to one of these tunnels. I've shown you one of these before, I think, in one of my videos last year. But I really love these tunnels that go under the motorway. Because it's only recent, really, that I've found out that they exist. And now I'm going under one again. I think this is like the fourth one I've done. There you go, I'm at the other side of the M1 now. So it's day 33 and Frosty's back! Yay! Missed you Frosty! Look at him. I don't think he's going to be here for long though. Snow's already starting to melt. So it's day 34 and some tragic news. Frosty got hit by a car. Poor Frosty. There'll be signs up soon appealing for witnesses. So it's day 35 and there is mud everywhere. But I did risk one of the trails that was slightly less muddy and that's not really saying much. Just because I wanted to get a little clip of this just to show you. So I've been wanting to come here for a while. I've actually had to abandon her at the other side of the mud, so I'm going to have to go back for her in a minute. But I really wanted to see this, and I thought, I've come all this way. I'm not going to give up now at the last minute. But there's a humongous puddle on the walking trail that's at that side, just beyond the bushes. So I came the other way, and here I am. So it's a bit of an underwhelming visit, given that I've had to finish the last bit by myself. But... At least I got to see it. Maybe I can come again in nicer weather when there's not quite so much mud. Fingers crossed. So this is Plan B. And we are in the middle of nowhere. Again, wastelands. And we're looking for a rock that we can sit on and have something to eat. It's Mr. Swan. This is quite cute. What? What you've just gone through. Yeah, tiny, isn't it? I like this bridge though. You know me and my bridges. I had to go across this bridge, I don't even know if it's going the right direction, but I'm going across it anyway.
in a callous disregard for the sanctity of life, some council workers backed into Frosty's corpse. But no respect on people. We're going to have a minute silence tonight at 8 o'clock. So it's day 36 and you'd be forgiven for thinking that I am shopping trolley spotting but I'm not I'm actually going shopping and I wouldn't normally go shopping on a Friday at the moment but with the threat of snow I thought best to make sure I've got a little bit in just in case I'm snowed in on Monday so I'm going to do an exciting Friday afternoon shop won't that be fun So it's day 37 and that's all that's left of Frosty. Rest in peace Frosty. So you asked me earlier if it had flooded here. I want to say this is incredibly unusual but it's actually like this quite a lot. So I don't know if it's picking it up on the camera but it looks suspiciously like snow starting to fall. So I was right, it is snow and it's getting a little bit thicker so you can see it a bit better now. So it'll be interesting to see tomorrow if it's settled or not but I'm not going to go as far as I was going to go in this because I don't want to get stranded again. So it's day 38 and we're back on this bridge, the one that did have graffiti and then didn't have graffiti but as you can see, I think it shows up on the camera. Some of the graffiti is starting to show through again, so we're not sure whether it's really poor quality paint that the council used, which wouldn't surprise me, or whether people have actually been chipping it off to try and get the graffiti back again. But yeah, it's not looking quite as dystopian grey as it was the last time I was here. And as you can see, some of the patterns are showing back up. But I think people, when they've been scraping it off, if that's what's happening, have actually been scraping the pattern underneath off as well. So I'm not sure that it will end up coming back. The shame. But I'm sure somebody will be along at some point to redo it. So in a year's time, if I remember, I'm going to come back and film this again. Because I imagine it will look very, very different. So it's day 39 and it's snowing and it's freezing. I'm just hoping it doesn't settle too much. Looks nice though. It's day 41 and we're going to the shop during a really, really busy time of the year. I walked down this hall for eight and I thought maybe, oh, the shop would be just right at the beginning, but no, it's the very furthest part away over there. Well, it's the best bit, isn't it? So I don't know if you remember the clip I showed you of the house with the birds on it. Well, this is what's around the corner. Guess who got hungry? <laughs> so it's day 42 and here I am in my natural habitat. <laughs> I just like to imagine that this is all my own land, obviously it's not. 
but despite the snow it's almost spring like if you look down there so the pond's frozen not quite thickly enough to do ice skating I did suggest she tried it but she declined So I was kind of struck by the fact that one side you've got like a babbling brook and it looks like a spring day and the other side you've got a frozen pond. It's just <laughs> such a weird random mix. So it's day 43 and we've still got snow, surprisingly. I thought it might have melted by now, but apparently it's going to snow again. A lot of it has melted on the main roads, but this is a road that no one comes on. So this is basically what roads would look like if we didn't have cars. And just for contrast, that's a road that does have cars on it. So you can see the difference, can't you? So I'm having an evening walk in a desolate wasteland that actually looks quite pretty in the snow. Very different when it's not snowing, when the camera can be bothered to focus that is. So it's day 34 and as you can see some of the snow has started to recede but on the edges it's still there and it's really really cold. The snow might be going a little bit but it hasn't taken the cold with it, I can tell you that. And they're threatening more snow apparently but I am wrapped up like some ninja assassin just to go to the shop and buy butter. It's absolutely freezing. So there's the shop, it's like a mirage in the desert, I'm that cold. I swear I've seen a few flakes of snow falling as I got towards it, so no my luck by tomorrow, it's going to be covered in snow again. And now of the house, even though it feels like a Siberian summertime, I'm absolutely freezing and I think I'm wearing literally everything I own. These wild mattresses just get everywhere, don't they? The wild fridge to go with the wild mattress. And a wild chair. And it's not a proper hike if you don't find a trolley. Well, this is today's exciting find. Needs a little bit of work, but it could probably be put back together. <laughs> what a place to park your car. Look what I found. I bet you can't guess where I came here. So I was on the phone yesterday to my friend for 10 hours, believe it or not, and during that time she prepared, cooked and ate a curry while I had to listen and I wasn't having a curry. So it was almost inevitable that tonight's tea was going to be a curry. So if you're watching this bunny, this is all because of you. And I did prepare it all from scratch.
So it's day 47 and look, this one's drunk. Oh no, 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 there's been a rave. This one was drunk too. They passed out. It's outrageous. Well, at least they're social distanced, aren't they? Look. Put the unicorn down. Put the unicorn down. Put the unicorn down. So I only found out when I was in the shop that it's pancake day today. So I put a lot of effort into making these. The traffic lights drunk. It's very, very windy, very, very windy, and of course there's no path because why would there be a path? So I could have gone over there, and I don't think you can see it. There's people walking along that walking trail there, which is what I was originally aiming for, but of course I got lost. But it's too late now, so I'm just going to walk along this dangerous hair raising road instead. Much traipsing through mud later, I found a bridge to a dryer side, hopefully. So it's day 49 and we've got some hearts. Thought you might have liked to see these. I don't know if you can read them because I don't know if it shows up on camera. But yeah, someone's put these on the tree since the last time we were here. I don't think this one shows up on camera probably, you can't read it. Ah there, I think it's better now. And there's one down there as well. I thought I'd capture that one for you. Yeah, I don't know who's done it, but interesting. It's a bit further on, and there's a few more. Probably the woods is full of them. This one's got caught on that.
We found some more. Look, abandoned push chair. Oh, can you pick it up so you can run way up the hill to the middle in it? <laughs> Might be a bit of a snug fit. Yeah. May get an arm in it. Yeah. But you can like rest one foot in it and hop. Uh, like a scooter. Yeah. Treat it as a, a scooter until you kill it. day 50 and as you can probably see it's a little bit later than normal but this morning I could hear the weather before I saw it so I knew it wasn't going to be a successful day for hiking so I have been out already but I didn't really walk anywhere so I finally forced myself to come out even if it's only a small walk and here I am basically so it's very very dark and it's still quite wet although it's not as stormy as it was earlier which is good so I'm hoping that I will basically walk in between storms because apparently another one's on the way and we're gonna get more snow that's what they're threatening anyway I'm hoping this won't happen but you know my luck it probably will So it's day 51 and look what we've found. The door to the secret portal is open. So we've got to take a look. See, I thought this was some kind of cleaning cupboard. Turns out it's packed with really old tellies for some bizarre reason. Not sure what the council's doing with these old tellies. Maybe it's a part of the uprising. But it's very, very disappointing. I thought this cupboard was going to be way more exciting. I thought there were people living in it, but apparently not. So it's day 52. And I thought I'd show you this bridge because I like it because I think it's really industrial. And if you see there, you seen that that massive train station there? Isn't it huge? It's like okay. something out of the middle of nowhere. It's like something out of a film where everyone's disappeared and we're just the last people alive. There is a film like that. It's filmed in Sheffield like that as well. Oh, we found a dead washing machine. How sad is that? Such a tragedy. And some bicycle parts. She's eating bloody sushi again. It's disgusting. <laughs> so it's day 53 and I found you a Desres. It's quite compact. But you could do it up. Lots of countryside next to it. So here we are and I'm on the easy going trail apparently. Easy going if you like mud slaloms I suppose. And I repeat, easy going. It's a good job I'm not wearing stilettos, that's all I can say. Look, an abandoned whatever the fuck that is. I think I mentioned I like rat runs, but these are posh rat runs. I think these are even posher than the rat runs where you live. And that's saying something.
Oh, look, it's my favourite, a road with no path. For some reason I've got a theme tune to Button Moon stuck in my head. Imagine if that was actually your name. You're called Jill Meadows. I'm Jill Meadows and I leave it at Jill Meadows. So it's day 54 and I'm visiting my old pal Henry again. He's starting to look a little bit dog-eared from his paint job. But it's held up quite well really to see how bad the weather's been in winter. Looking well Henry. Here we go, this is the kind of graffiti that I really like. It's actually got some talent in it. some point probably some demented council worker will come and just whitewash over it all. So we found another vehicle. As always, in need of a little bit of restoration. It's a little bit later than normal, but all I did today really was go to the shop and I didn't think that would be really exciting to film for you, so I thought I'd wait until I went somewhere a little bit more interesting. Obviously, it's quite dark, but still nice. Quite quiet as well. I always like it when it's quiet. Oh my god, the fridge is drunk! So it's day 56 and we're here again. Walking along the favourite bridge from the 80s. And we're hoping that this time when we walk along here there'll be slightly less lakes. <laughs> yeah. We're on the bridge again! Look, a tree. tree. Not as high as it was before though, I remember. It was over the top of all the trees that time. Last time we came here. So we've got to here and this is the point where we're going to turn back and head back. But I'm thinking I might have to come and see where this leads tomorrow. Now the gingerbread man is nearly dry and I've been keeping him safe in here. So he doesn't get knocked over and eventually he's going to be painted and glossed over. So he's rock hard and I'm going to put a ribbon on him and he's going for the Christmas tree. He's very happy. Look at that smile. Just look at it. Tragic. Yay. Tragic. Tragic. So it took about a week for us to get this. But we ordered some... Thanks for putting the lights on. When also, also, if you want me to turn <laughs> Well, it doesn't matter now. It's on. But, yeah. When it went funny on the camera, look how there's a shadow. I can do shadow puppets. That's because she just turned the lights on without caring at all that I was filming this for you. So, to begin again, it took about a week to get this. We've just queued outside the chip shop for what felt like a week, but was probably longer. And finally, we've got some food so I can finally eat. And it does actually look nice, to be fair. So, we'll see. So 
So it's day 58 and today I am doing the walk that I was originally going to do yesterday but it got slightly delayed but here I am anyway kind of in the middle of nowhere but according to maps further down is busier than usual so I think I'm going to kind of circumnavigate that it's not something I was intending to visit anyway but there's like a, a memorial piece or something but I was actually going along a road but it didn't tell you on maps that that road turned out to be private, so I've kind of come down this path here, which looks really nice, so it's worth exploring, obviously. But, yeah, I didn't know, like I say, because on maps that it was a private road. So, thankfully, I found a route off the road that is available to the public before I got shot by some angry landowner. I've just realised I've been here before. That is the path that I've always wondered where that led to when I've walked along from here, from Forge Dam, and gone down to Enfield Park down there. But today, I'm going this way, up there. So this shows up as an actual road on maps, but imagine trying to drive down this. Imagine it'd be nice and private to live somewhere up there, because no one could visit you. I know I keep saying this but it just doesn't feel like a lockdown just look at the road and it's not even a weekday it's a Saturday so they're not all commuting and it's just completely different from lockdown number one basically so we've got to here and this is the point where we're going to turn back and head back so it's day 59 and as I promised we're going along this path to see where it leads. See if it's interesting. There'll be a dead end at the other side of this bridge, I can guarantee you. Just my luck. It's not obvious about So we've found battlements. They're dead bodies and I'm walking on every single one of them. Yep. Delightful. So anyway. I have to go underneath this because we're going underneath one of those bridges under the M1 again. Yeah, she's looking for wildlife. Look. Open it then. Yeah, rats in there, allegedly. Clearly he's shy. But I love going underneath these, walking underneath most of it. And the some artwork. Nice. She did say she'd gained weight. I didn't realise that she gained that much. So we've come to swamps and pylons. Still quite nice though. Just be careful. I miss. Right at water's edge as well. <laughs> 